Welcome on behalf of Ask Medical, a digital startup which focuses on supporting people with chronic conditions. Obesity is often a key root problem behind diabetes to kidney problems or cardiovascular diseases. We need to address obesity to prevent or manage these conditions. And I'm here to talk about how digital health tools can help the patient and the health professional to improve patient journey and treatment adherence. Obesity is a complex and very, very personal issue, where one-size-fits-all approach failed so many times, and no matter what the size actually is. So you need personalization, patience, and a bit of play to combat obesity and maintain momentum and motivation. Technology is great for personalization, and it is able to collect and analyze a large amount of data within a short time, and can be great in motivation, just think about social media or video games. Obesity can have genetic factors. It also can have mental health factors. You might be a trauma sufferer, PSTD or other mental health issues which actually influence your weight. You might also have comorbidities. Some of the common ones might be a PCOS, thyroid gland problems or the silent diabetes. You can also have medication side effects, which actually gains your weight or you lose lots of weight. Diet and nutritional factors and lifestyle and activity levels are the most common factors behind obesity, but these also need to be treated and managed. So let's see what technology can do for you and what can it do about obesity. In general, in healthcare, technology can collect, structure, analyze and visualize data to support diagnosis and decision. It can also enable continuous 24-7, 365 access to data and information. And it can also enable fast and accurate communication as well as data exchange between people, between machine and people, or between machine and machine. Technology is also great in automation. It can automate repetitive tasks, monotonous tasks, calculation intense tasks, and so many more. Technology can also be a partner of yours to monitor your activities, to answer your questions or give feedback about your activities. So when it comes to digital health, let's see how can it support patient and the health professional. So in healthcare, just see some of the areas where digitalization can make a difference for staff as well as for patients. First of all, digitalization can support healthcare staff to see patient data in an up-to-date manner, structured, analyzed, and often visualized format for better understanding, diagnosis, and monitoring. Digitalization can also enable remote contact and care. It makes possible to track patient activities and condition, often without personal appointments or burning time limits. Digitalization enables personalized care. Using digital patient data, treatment data, and smart software, it can save time for the professional to configure personalized treatment, considering all aspects of the patient's condition. Okay, and when it comes to staff shortages, let's face it, it was with us well before the pandemic. COVID only made it more visible and more serious. Digital solutions cannot replace human health professionals, but as the availability of healthcare staff is the bottleneck in care, they need better tools and automation to get better patient data and they can meet patients with digital health tools without risking their health and get the support of powerful application to consider all important aspects and potential risks. Healthcare is still a human interaction with new ways to manage and support the task. These are just a few examples of digital health applications recently being put on the market supporting healthcare staff and patients. So the next thing is about obesity, which requires a holistic and personalized approach and often behavior change. Obesity can be responsible for various chronic conditions. Diabetes and cardiovascular problems are common, but many of us are still not aware of its role to develop chronic kidney diseases, not to mention the impact of obesity to joints or the new risk for serious COVID complications. Diet and lifestyle is key to treat obesity and therefore reduce the risk of developing these conditions or slow down the progress of a diagnosed condition. Behavior change for success and the role of digital application 
is our next topic. Because obesity requires long-term changes, which often means behavior change. It should be supported by a professional team, and it should be personalized and sustainable. And it requires a lot of motivation and feedback during the journey. So you need to get attached to it and change your habits long term. Science and research already proved that digital solutions are very, very effective in achieving this. On this screen, we see various people. Some patients, they are all obese, but do they need the same advice and treatment? So say, these four are actually all different. They have exactly the same body weight, but some of them are male, some of them are female. Some of them are young, some of them are over 50. Some of them have mental issues, some of them have uh, comorbidities, uh, some of them have different working conditions to the others, and some of them are self-reliant and some others live in a care home. These patients all struggle with obesity, but they have different stories, different needs, and all different level of understanding about their own condition. So in standardized healthcare, they may end up with a very, very similar instructions and general advice how to manage their obesity, not considering their individual needs. If they are fortunate, they might get some personalized advice from their health specialist, but may lack the support they need to follow the instructions and take care of themselves day by day. The specialist may also miss some turning points in life where the condition may improve or deteriorate. Obesity is often treated by a series of personal consultations, but in the real world, a decreasing number of doctors and dietitians need to look after a growing number of patients. So this means that many of the patients get to see a health professional only if there is a serious problem and may not get more attention than 15 minutes per visit. From this 15 minutes, half of the time may be spent by the health professional asking the patients about health and activity data of the previous period, and the rest should be sufficiently by, by providing dietary and lifestyle advice, information about medicines or further diagnostics which are required. So would you be motivated to change your behavior after this consultation? Would you feel that you know everything for your daily health management? To make this worse, personal meetings got restricted by COVID measures. Telephone conversations mean that you cannot use your eyes for better understanding. Video calls can be a little bit better because they can make enable data sharing, but this data sharing might be risky or complicated. Only purpose-made telehealth system can provide the level of support which is needed combined by monitoring and information systems available in out-of-hours periods. And this is the user experience people get used to in other service domains, and they start to expect the same in healthcare. So if they do not get it from real healthcare professionals, they tend to turn to those who offer a fantastic user experience, but no scientific evidence or validated protocol behind all those promises. Another thing is that we should focus on digital solutions which focus on the health impact when treating obesity rather than focusing on improving someone's appearance. So it, obesity should be considered as a health risk or a health condition on its own. In some countries, obesity is now classified as a chronic disease itself, which requires medical intervention, which includes lifestyle and behavior changes. So digital health applications can address three main dimensions of obesity treatment. One is diet and nutritional factors. One is activity, exercise, and lifestyle. And there is also the mental and psychological aspects. In addition, there might be also uh, considerations about additional medical support if needed, if the patient happens to have other conditions. So to make this work, we need to confirm it's not only the health specialist who needs a holistic approach about the patient's condition. It's not only the health professional who needs to understand the factors influencing someone's health. It's not only the health professional who needs to see the relationship between diet, medicine, activities, habits, and other important factors. It's the patient who should have all this information and empowerment 
information and treatment needs to be personalized. It should be tailored for a real patient, not a generic model, which might be outdated or inappropriate anyway. So medical support should contain only validated information and treatment needs to be evidence-based. And whatever data collected from the individual, it needs to be analyzed and visualized to support engagement, understanding and change if needed. So how can we tackle obesity using digital tools and services? First of all, technology can enable personalized support using patient data and medical history. A digital health platform can help to set dietary goals, plan and log menus, and do all necessary nutritional calculations. A digital health platform is able to import data for personal smart trackers and wearable health devices, which can be used for monitoring and reveal relationship between diet, activity, medicine, and health data. A digital health platform can offer various means of empowerment, control, and motivation for a patient from daily feedback to gamification techniques. Our said automated lifestyle advice is a platform we started to develop to support people with kidney disease or diabetes. In these conditions, diet is an essential part of the treatment and condition management. However, during the investigation and development phase, we realized how many of these patients struggle with obesity. So getting weight back to the normal range was an important challenge to improve condition Therefore, specific features were added to achieve this. Tackling obesity is not just reducing weight over a period of time, not even with a digital health app. So ASAT supports the health professional to engage, support and monitor patients. The platform service range is now a combination of three main service groups. One is diet management, with setting individual dietary goals and nutritional needs. Then plan and record daily menus to achieve these goals. Number two is patient monitoring, health management using smart personal health and activity trackers, smart scales, glucose meters, pulse oximeters, fitness bands, and many more. Number three is the content recommendation system, which offers personalized patient education to empower the user to manage condition better. So these three pillars involve the direct digital services for the patient from the platform and from the engaged health professionals, as well as personalized content recommendation for patient education and tracking to provide evidence-based support. This is the diet module, which includes personalized goals, menus and recipes. So dietary services include setting personalized goals with the involvement of the dietitian, then providing practical help in form of tailored menus, nutritional calculations, automated recommendations and quick and easy meal logs to record and share data. The next one is the monitoring module, which is using IoT to track various activities and factors. Patient monitoring uses a range of personal devices people already may have, from smart scales to blood glucose meters, pulse oximeters, fitness trackers. But when you ask doctors if they use this data in some form, they usually say no. And in the meantime, if you ask patients whether they ever try to to use these trackers for self-monitoring, then they will definitely say yes. But they often do not even think about sharing this data with their doctors. Activity plans are not new, but connecting this data to diet data, the user and the health professional can have a more comprehensive view about the condition, the reasons and relationship behind data, giving more guidance about the right of wrong and options for future condition management. Patient education, which is the third pillar, could also be key for managing obesity. It can address physical, nutritional and mental aspects to raise awareness and knowledge. Patient education helps the patient understand particular factors of the condition, particular issues which are essential for long-term change and specific risks and the ways to mitigate them. When we talk digital, we also should talk about security and safety. Patient and health data is specific personal data which requires specific protection and safe communication channels with restricted and protected access, being conform with GDPR and specific regulatory conditions relevant for the healthcare industry. Our case study is about a group being treated at Ormos Institute 
which is a private healthcare hospital in Budapest, Hungary, offering a wider range of health services with a large group of experienced clinicians. Dietitian specialists can support patients to have a healthier diet, address particular problems from hormonal imbalances to chronic kidney disease, or manage weight to prevent a chronic condition. ASAD was a complementary service besides the complex consultation process delivered by clinicians and dietitians after complex diagnostics to have detailed information about the patient. This particular case study included over 38 individuals of different age, most of them were seriously overweight. The monitoring period was about six months, which can be considered a short period as we are aware how many years it takes to become so obese. The result on this image do speaks for themselves. The treatment was effective for everyone who did not quit in the first couple of days. Weight management is a lifetime journey rather than a program for a few weeks or for a few months. Patient education is needed to make it clear if you slip back to your old habits and diet regime, you will end up with your old self, including all the excess weight you managed to get rid of. So changes should be made permanent and digital tools can provide cost-effective solutions to make these changes permanent and sustainable by providing access to weight management services in a way they did not have the opportunity before. And finally, managing obesity successfully usually requires time, patience and a holistic approach. As about 50% of Europeans struggle with overweight or obesity, the problem affects people from all age, social status, gender, education level, or geographical reasons. Changing dietary and lifestyle habits are key, and often the only factors to treat and prevent obesity, but the treatment requires more personalization, monitoring, feedback, and engagement, what traditional methods and approach and current healthcare resource levels can provide. So digital health tools combined with more traditional elements of medical treatment can successfully contribute to a more personalized, more sustainable patient care in managing obesity and several related chronic conditions, enable data-driven, accessible services connecting patient and health professional using telehealth channels and automating several time-consuming or repetitive tasks. Digital tools can be particularly efficient in treatments where behavior change is required and condition management should be permanent, adjusted to actual status of the patient. Digitalization is no longer a nice to have in chronic condition management or prevention, but a must have from which patient and professionals can benefit. Thank you very much.